Now I want to ask real quick for a volunteer. You're going to get prayed with in front of 1,200 people, and they're going to pray for you at the same time. If you want to come up, bam, right here. What's your name? Welcome Casey to the stage. I'm over here, Casey. I'm John. Nice meeting you. Casey, where do you go to school? At University of Louisiana, Lafayette. University of Louisiana, Lafayette. I believe they went to a bowl game this year, right? That's good. That's awesome. I believe there was another team in Louisiana that actually didn't show up for a bowl game, right? Where's Curtis at? <laughs> All right. Casey, do you have something that you would like to be prayed for today? Um, just a future move. Yeah, amen. I think we all can relate with that, right? So, Casey, may I place my hand on you? you may. Okay. <laughs> Heavenly Father, I praise you and thank you, Father, for Casey. Father, that you brought her here this weekend. Jesus, I can see a natural joy in Casey that I'm sure she makes other people delight in, Lord. The type of person that gives light. She is a light, Jesus. Thank you for her joy. I pray right now for the grace for Casey that she would remain in you and abide, Lord. That she would abide in you deeply. That she would love you. And Father, as you said in the Gospel of John, that none would be taken out of your hand, that Casey would never leave your hand. Father, I pray that she be filled, Lord, with every grace, with every blessing. Lord, that she be given what she needs to transform her own life, but to give glory to you that her life would transform other lives. Father, I thank you. I thank you for this opportunity and her boldness to come up here. Pray all this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Casey. Give her a round of applause. (laughs) Secret time. Let you in on a secret. It's not rocket science. Okay? Okay. It's you allowing Jesus to love people through you. When I put my hand on Casey, immediately I was, I could sense her joy. When you put your hand on someone, what is God asking you to say? Maybe you don't even have to place a hand. Maybe somebody's not comfortable with that. But entering into that place and being vulnerable, vulnerable enough to say it. The most comforting words we can hear sometimes are me too. Or letting God act in our voice when we pray with someone and we say that thing out loud that we don't know if that was really God or not and as soon as you say it, they break open because there's a freedom. Will you be lights together and be a city? Will you be a city? 